said, my eyes are on the road and my hands are on the wheel. Jim Morrison. All you young guys probably don't know who the hell that is. But I got a busy day, but I felt compelled that I needed to talk about this complete and utter disaster. This $98 million fraud. This 100% piece of garbage. This wuss bag. This lifeless. This cashing a fucking check and laughing all the way to the bank. Jerk off. E. Nil. Listen, here's the deal. I don't give a shit if the lighting is good or not. I needed to talk about this shit. So, deal with it if the lighting's not good and if I'm not looking at the camera. Because I'm looking at the road. Listen, everybody misses shots, okay? Sometimes shots go in, sometimes they don't. You know, if Darren Williams missed that shot and he was, you know... Even a remotely decent fucking player, you go, ah, you know what? He missed it. Everybody misses 15 footers. Everyone. But when you add up this motherfucker's game, when you look at his history, I love Mike Mazeo's ESPN tweet. This piece of shit fraud. This Bernie Madoff thief. I know that's harsh. Yes, to me, in my mind, he's a thief. He stole $100 million from the Nets. Um, and he has no intention, no intention whatsoever of being the player that he was when he signed that deal. None. He's checked out. He mentally doesn't give a shit. He's got no balls. He's got no heart. Paul Pierce is dead on the money. Uh, but when look at the collect look at Mazeo's two for 17 in playoff games where the score is five points or less with five minutes to go are you fucking kidding me two for 17 what does that tell you about this guy what does it tell you that he's probably a 20 less than 20 percent shooter overall in the fourth quarter I, I would love to see that statistic. two for 17 <laughs> Oh my goodness, this guy is a fight. And listen, it doesn't stop there, folks. Look at the defense. Look at the fucking layup that Damari Carroll's only bucket in the game came with whatever time, minute to go, when Darren Williams was fucking guarding him. And he does it all the time. He plays defense like guys do against me in the fucking in, in pickup and wreck. Darren Williams. I, I'm telling you right now, I'm a 48-year-old fucking white guy with the vertical leap of an ant. And I bet you, I fucking bet you that in a game that I'd score three or four times against Darren Williams guarding me. Not on the ball, of course. Anybody guarding me on the ball is, is going to stop me because I'm totally unathletic. But this fucking guy just plays off guys 10, 15 feet makes dumb decisions. He went to go help on uh, Millsap's three. You know, Jack too. Listen, Jack, I, I love Jack. He's got a lot of problems in his game. We know that. Um, but at least the one thing he doesn't have is lack of balls. Um, you know, Jack was looking to draw a, an offensive foul if you see the replay on Millsap. Um, and then Darren Williams decides, oh, let me let me He's 15 feet away, and he's going to do a closeout on Millsap's three because Jack falls down. And, of course, that leaves Carroll open for the fucking layup. So, and then three minutes to go in the game. Nets have some momentum. They go from 11 to 6, and this motherfucker comes down and throws the fucking ball out of bounds. This guy is a fucking disaster. And for all you D Nil let you did you this you, you jerk off asshole motherfucker that you are, you know who you are. I won't say your name publicly, but everyone knows you're a JA, you're a jackass. You keep defending this fucking loser. 
it says a lot about you, dude, and anyone else that defends this guy. Because I've been dealing with people defending him for three years, as I've been telling every motherfucker what Paul Pierce said last week. I've been telling everybody for three years. The piece by the, the, the Litchfield guy, CBS Sports, I've been telling everybody for three years. That this guy is a fucking disaster. It ain't had... Oh, he's hurt. Give him a full season. Fuck you. Give him a full season. He's had three years. You don't grow balls. They, you, 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 don't, you don't change a friggin' ballless human being into in guy with bread. He doesn't have him. He doesn't have him. He never will. The guy just wants to cash his check, go home, play with his fucking kids and live a great life. And you know what? He's going to do that. He's going to live a great life. Look at the fucking smile on his face after he misses the shot. You know? No, oh, Bobby Green hard on him. It was a fucking smirk. Like, hey, not, hey, listen, if you had a fucking reputation like Joe Johnson, if you made some big fucking shots for us over your years, like Johnson has, then you get a break for fucking giving a smirk. Fucking... Johnson don't smirk if he misses a shot. He fucking winces in agony. So does every fucking competitor. But not this dude. Not D-Nil. Because he doesn't give a shit. D-Nil's got his contract. He's got his family. He fucking lives in Utah. He hates it in New York. He's got the last laugh. All he does, let me go out and do what I fucking do. He's become the 25th, 26th best fucking guard in the league. Disgraceful. The guy's a fucking disaster. He's a disaster. And finally, the whole fucking world publicly is seeing. Finally, it's being reported that he's a fucking disaster. Finally. Because everything was underground the last couple of years. Everybody was so, you know, well, you know, it could be, you know, you know Darren Williams could he, if, he, if, if, uh, fuck you with the ifs. I love Paul Pierce, what he said, because it's fucking spot on. And what, is, what does Darren Williams do to answer that? He comes out and he fucking shits the bed the next night. And he says, hey, he's entitled to his opinion. You know what a fucking competitor would do? You know what a real competitor would do? If, if you're being fucking challenged like that, he is fucking balls. And if you fucking think... Sorry, moved a little bit. Some of you are going to say, well, you know, what if he play? Listen, listen, cut the shit. Of course, he's got talent. You know what he's like? I play fucking basketball three days a week. All right, I'm 48 years old. I play with 25, 30-year-old kids, and I'm still a fucking top pick. You, you know why? Because I'm going to bust my fucking ass every possession. If you fucking give me an inch... I'm going to make a fucking three. So if you want to you want to guard me, you better be committed. I don't give a fuck if you're 21, 22, 23, because I'm fucking going to never stop running through screens, running the baseline, and if you give me an inch, I'm fucking nailing the three. It's just that simple. I'm going to fucking nail it. Darren Williams is like the guy in pickup when you're choosing sides where you go, you always end up taking him like high because of his fucking talent. Man, he's talented. But then after two possessions, and you're in pickup, we have a guy like this that we play with. After two possessions, you go, what the fuck am I doing? Why did I take this dude? I know the friggin' dude. I know the dude sucks. He continues to play like shit. What the fuck is wrong with me? Why did I take him? And this is Darren Williams. Yeah, and, and you people that... You know, you want to believe he's going to get better. You know, if this, if that, it's not fucking happening. The guy stinks. And what's worse about him is the lack of balls. He doesn't have the heart. He doesn't want to take a big shot. He had to take that shot. You think he wanted to? Fuck no. He doesn't want to take shots. He wants to exist, cash his fucking check, and... Go live in the off season in Utah or wherever the fuck, and and just and, and he's a hundred percent fine with being okay, hundred percent. He's a fraud, ladies and gentlemen. 
He was given $100 million because at the time he was one of, if not the best fucking point guards in the game. When we got him, I, my chest was fucking pushed out, laughing at Nick fans saying, you got Carmelo Anthony. I got fucking Darren Williams. I'll take my guy over your guy any day. And what do we give up? Yeah. Yeah. Derek Favors, very serviceable, big. How about, uh, how about Kent, Kentner now? Just take a look at what he did in Oklahoma City the last fucking 20-something games. Something, something to the effect of 20 points, 11 points a game. That pick was sent for this fuck. Let's not forget, we had to go get Gerald Wallace to keep him here. So we gave up the number six pick, which turned out to be fucking Damian Lillard. Imagine Damian Lillard running this show instead of this pussy. This guy is a disaster. He's a fucking cancer. He is a franchise killer. He's a coach killer. You know, you want to, you, you, you people that want to kill fucking Lionel Hollins. What do you want Lionel Hollins to fucking do? The only thing I will say about Lionel Hollins and what, you know, he's the only fucking coach that benched his ass in the fourth quarter. I don't know why he didn't yesterday. Uh, I'm a little pissed that he didn't get him the fuck off the court, Lionel. You've, you've done it in big spots all year in the fourth quarter. He hasn't fucking played. And last night, you want to reference his 10 fucking rebounds, eight assists? Come on, Lionel. Come on, Lionel. You know, I get it. You, you know, Jack's not a great fucking decision maker. Jack, you know, makes a lot of bad plays. He's sloppy. He's not really a true fucking point guard. I get it. Which is why it sucks that you have to have Darren Williams in a game. But, you know, Jack's fucking... Hey, Jack ain't afraid of taking a big shot. You know, 9 for 13. You know, Nets had four guys play well last night. Four... Anderson played well. Lopez played well. Johnson played well. And if you got something from this fuck, something. Instead, the motherfucker scores two points. Look at his playoff career in the last two years. This guy on his resume has a fucking two-point game to his credit and a fucking no-point game to his credit. Remember Miami last year? I'm sure you do. The guy is bad fucking news. And I don't give a fuck. Listen, of course he's going to have a good game. And that's what happens to you jerk-offs. He has two or three or maybe even a fucking week where he plays well and you all want to fucking type to me. Huh? What do you got to say now? The fuck you mean what do I got to say now? You're supposed to fucking play well when you get paid 98 fucking million dollars. Are you going to play well for a fucking month and I'm supposed to do fucking cartwheels? You shitting me? 90 fucking 8 million and you want me to start fucking blowing him because he's done he played well for a fucking week or two eat shit play well for a fucking year play well for the rest of your life you know have a fucking bad day every now and then not a fucking good day every now and then the guy's a fucking disaster look at the fucking smirk all you need to know about him is what Paul Pierce said guy doesn't like fucking pressure and he's getting paid fucking big bucks. Get this motherfucker out of here in the offseason, Billy King. You're a disaster, too. Listen, I, you, I don't fucking blame you a second for going after this fucking guy. I don't even blame you for the other moves that you made to keep him. We all fucking wanted this guy here. We all did. But I fucking saw two and a half years ago that this fucking guy wasn't the answer. And I, who the fuck am I? I'm no fucking GM, but I watch every fucking game, and I can see that the guy don't have balls. You had a chance to get rid of him in the midseason? Get this fucking guy out of here in the offseason. And if it means, you know, you gotta get Lopez if he opts, good, good. Fucking 38 games with Darren Williams at the fucking helm. Healthy season, 38 games you won. Healthy Brook. Both of them get the fuck out of here. Start this fucking thing over. It's a disaster. Fucking laughing stock of the NBA. Number eight is a fucking disgrace. Paul Pierce, thank you for fucking bringing it out. And here we are in a fucking must win. Listen, of course, is it must win? No, you're on the road. The series don't start. Blah, 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 blah. But you had a fucking chance. Your team played fucking. Your team fought. And your fucking leader. Your leader contributed two fucking points to it. Leave me alone. And get this fucking out of Brooklyn in the offseason.